Good evening everyone, it is your friend cousin Boneless. Here we are. Urban Turban vs SBF Game 1, and there's your up there. Not bad. Okay, we're on the FD, which is probably beneficial for Wario. Could definitely run Riot, because we've seen the landing options aren't the greatest. But you're not going to get him too much in the air anyway, this percentage. I like the use of up air there. Tries to catch the jump, because SBF is a jumper with Wario, as most characters. Uh, most people who play this character are. Okay, there's your nair into dash attack. No waft just yet, so he's going to have to play a little bit honest. Is that possible with Wario? Who knows? Okay! Oh, he read the air dodge! That was so lucky! Oh, there's your back air. He's not got a jump. That oh, he's air dodge! No punish from SPF on the... Oh, and the nair doesn't hit. This is big! Oh, my days! He's hit him with a down air! That's because of boneless take! You'll love to see it if you're a Lucina fan. Jesus, what a way to end that game one. I jumped on commentary at the right time. Adib looking like a man on a mission. Already with a 3-0 in the books against Sully Man. Looking to take another name on that UK PR. Sam shaking his head. Not, ups, not uh, too happy about that one. I assume we're going to get a Pichu. Which is interesting, because it's not like that game wasn't competitive. It was pretty much last off, but I guess... I don't know, maybe Sam's just not feeling too confident in the Wario. Maybe I'm assuming too much. He might just keep on. Ah, really? Okay, so he had... He had Smash Stick on. That's not ideal. So we're probably going to stick with the Wario. Yep. Okay, Sam needs to get his head back in the game. Adib has a very, very good mentality, so in that matchup, he's winning. But the Warrior Lucina matchup is the one that Sam needs to concern himself with in this game two, going back to Town and City. Adib opening up with a couple of aerials. And Adib is playing this right so far, just doing retreating forward airs. It's interesting, I was talking to Adib a little bit about this before. He said he was going to play a little bit more aggressively. And you can see right now it's paying dividends, 73% to 40, but... SPF replies with that dash attack and now has him a ledge. Oh, tries to get... Okay, gets the double jump. There's your dash attack. I think he's still got his jump, but he's not going to need it. This is scary now for a dude. But the platform's come back. He can use it to recover, which is good. Yeah, tries to go for another chomp. SPF really, really... Ha Feeling for that chomp these days. And they did not give it to him. Challenger with the back air. Very, very even game too so far. Dash attack from that down tilt. Not going to kill. Perfect DI there from the deep. Wow. Grabs him out of the jump. He's off stage. He becomes high. Yep. And that's the beauty of Town and City. That Nair nearly killing. He does have his bike. We get Oh, beautiful delay from SBF with that jump. A deep able to recover. Sam struggling to get this kill here at 170. Forward throw might kill. That's going to be the stop. Okay. How is SPF going to land? He's able to. That up smash out shield. Not quick enough. Right. Good high recovery there for that time from SPF. Good mix ups. Wario with a very, very good recovery. And SPF utilizing it really well so far. This going to be the stop. He's doing really, really well at avoiding these down airs and. Any kind of aerial pressure that Adib's uh, applying off stage. Okay, and Waft is going to do it. And just like that, Sam with a very, very convincing lead all of a sudden. The power of Waft, the power of Warrior, man. That's the kind of thing. It can turn the game completely on his head. And now the dynamic of this game, too, is completely changed because now SPF's in the lead. And has to do, Adib has to do a lot more intense approaching now. Yep, SPF happy to retreat back, throw out forward airs every time Adib kind of pokes his shield. There's your nair, okay. Good recovery. Tech was very much crucial. 
good air dodge onto that platform. Dash attack, weak hit. Yeah, really good tech chase. Wow, yeah. Adib with some strange options on shield, but doesn't get massively punished for it by SPF. But he is in disadvantage. Back air is not going to connect there. The right idea for SPF to do as well to get shield up in time. That's going to be it. Yeah. And you can just see how differently Adib has to play the game when SPF gets that wasp, gets that kill, and gets a stock lead. It's difficult for any character against Warrior when they've got that stock deficit and SPF really, really capitalizing on that in that game too. Adib thinking where to go. I think Battlefield's a good choice. But again, you really give you really give Wario a lot of opportunity to survive on this stage. Battlefield with some of the largest blast zones in terms of distance away from the stage. So this is going to be a bit more difficult. And he has a lot more area to cover when it comes to SBF recovering yourself. Good opening here so far from the team. But the grab into an up air. Second up air can't connect. Best we have with the command grab on the platform. Yes, beautiful delay there from Adib on that forward up air. Best we have just getting a little bit impatient out of shield sometimes. Yep, yeah, nice to get a tech chase, but able to do it. But with that, resets back to neutral anyway. Gets another command grab on that platform. He's getting it a lot so far. Covering that landing that Adib does onto the platform. So far, this is a very, very even game. Has to run up and grab a very, very hungry um, hungry option there from Adib. Shield breaker from Ledge, though. Good option. With that bike there, we're going to get an extension of the hitbox. We're not. The back air out shield. Yes, beautiful option there with the dancing blade this time from Ledge from Adib. They DI away, unfortunately, because they probably trying to dash back. SPF catches that with the back air and takes a lead. Now. This is big. Now, it's how, how does Adib get the kill now? At 135%, Warrior can still take a couple of hits in terms of aerials. Oh, that was a very unfortunate recovery there from SPF. Recovering the buff stage, definitely not what he wanted. Very aggressive forward air there from Adib. You can tell in terms of this matchup, he is playing it a little bit more aggressively than maybe you would. Oh, he's still back. Beautiful recovery from SPF. That could have absolutely changed the whole game right there. But just like that, Waft is on deck. Can he get it? Adib swinging. Adib swinging hard, but it's not working out for SPF so far. Catching the landing. Counter, not going to be able to take that. That is going to be the stock. His bike is gone. Adib with a stock lead, but SBF still got the waft. No chomp that time from SBF. Dash attack. Up to waft. Probably not going to connect anymore. With that being said, with him at the ledge, SBF can do something here. Regrab. The up B catching, and honestly, that's worked out really well for Adib because that chip from that forward tilt is able to, uh, is able to punish him. Big lead here for Adib, nearly gets that Nair into forward smash, probably wouldn't have killed even at 83% with that amount of rage. Push back from forward air, uh, forward tilt, should I say, sorry, not enough. This is looking strong from Adib, gets that aggressive Nair, bike is on stage now. But SPF with a very, very strong dash attack. Back air, that's going to be the stock. Adib not DI'ing it because he was rolling in. And this is very, very scary for Adib now. 115%. Wario still has a little bit left in the tank. But more specifically, he has that waft. And he doesn't go for it. Up air. Oh, nearly catches the landing. 
And SVF is so threatening. Just empty hopping around. Yeah, okay, going for an up tilt. It should connect into Waft at this percent. If he gets his bearings right. But it's about getting in right now. Adib <gasps> tries to go for that up beak him. It's a good option against Wario when they recover quite linearly. Very, very intense. 161%. One aerial. You'd think a back air or an up air should probably do it. But how does Adib get it? He just goes for the Rago Loft. A massive play from SBF and it's not paid off in the slightest, unfortunately for him. Adib utilizing that drop dwarf into pretty much a kill. Damn. And he really tried to utilize the extension of the waft hitbox on that bike. Maybe to cover a roll, but Adib did not bite. Ended up getting the, the first kill on him, man. And Adib is one game away from winner's side of top eight. A 3-0 on Stranger SA. Is that going to be followed by a 3-1? on SBF. If you're an Adib fan, you're hoping it is. If you're an SBF fan, you want this to go to game five. We're going back to Town and City. No DSR at this tournament at Bale Rig 10. So we're going back to Town. And we're going back to the city. Strong opening from SBF. 38% already. And it's important to see how SBF kind of challenges a lot of these aerials. Is he going to stay in shield mode? Or is he going to try and challenge a little bit with what, like, forward air or something like that? Got an air out of shield. Forward throw. Adib recovering onto the platform. Smart move from Adib. Just that falling down there. Adib has been doing really, really well, generally speaking, in terms of landing. And the fact that there's no platforms now means that he's probably not going to get command grabbed half the time like he was on Battlefield. That being said, SBF with a decent lead so far. Adib just swinging. Look how patiently SBF's playing, just holding center stage. And he's running in with a grab. Another down air to try and land, but he's able to. Another grab, really good stuff from Adib. His tech chasing has been on point so far. Oh, and he's grabbed the bike. I think he was probably trying to go for a forward total, forward smash on landing. He ends up grabbing the bike instead. That up smash was wild from SBF. And deep swinging. Dash attack, weak hit. Strong hit would have killed even at center stage. <gasps> no forward smash from Adib, and he gets punished with a back air. SBF with the lead so far in this game, boy. Okay, forward tilt. Nice to go deep off stage. Really good delay from SBF again. And there's your half waft's gonna kill this time. Wow. SBF looking like a different player in this game four. And you're wondering, is Adib gonna get impatient? He kinda has to make big plays now. He's this far down. You have to make something big happen. Against other characters, you can kind of wait it out, you'll get your opportunity, but against Wario, you're just giving yourself less time to kind of combat the Waft, man. There. Oh wow, tries to dash back forward smash. And there's your backer eventually kill him, but he's got such a deficit to try and to try and bring by. Back air, no jump. Should be curtains. Oh, and he's tried to style, but he should be okay. That's a two stock, a JV3 from SBF to bring that to game five. And for all the momentum of D in that third game. It swung so quickly into SPFs. Game five going back to Battlefield. Start the battle. This is a big game, ladies and gentlemen. Game five of this winner's quarter is a winner of this winner side top eight. Of course, we're going to Battlefield. Urban Turbine 911 against SPF. Let's see how this one plays out. And already you can tell the patience from Adib is paying off a little bit. 
Lots of dash back. It's such a good utility that Lucina has. Every character has it. But Lucina is so strong. Tries to run him with a grab, gets a little bit greedy, and SBF punish him with up throw up air. Now with a debut ledge, generally speaking, I don't think SBF has done as much as he possibly could with a debut at the ledge, and I think that's just a testament to how good a deep has been when he's getting back onto the stage more than anything else. Forward throw. Now he's off stage. SBF happy to hold center and keep him at the ledge. We ledge trap, not edge guard in this game. Bike on deck. Gets the massive hitbox that that really has. There's your forward tilt. SBF taking the first stack of game five. Oh, B. Okay. This is big, Adib. Oh, I thought we were going to get a shield break, but no dice. SBF calling out the spot dodge. With that chomp. Look how menacing SBF is. Just dash dancing in center stage. And what do you do if you're Urban Turban right now, man? Warrior with a lead. Happy to chill under the platform. Limiting the way that Adib can actually approach. Just camping him out. And that's kind of the right move right now from SBF. That waft is slowly coming to free. There's your nair. Back hit actually killing. High game in terms of stocks, but with that waft, it's not great. Not great reading. Recovers low. Another grab. He's calling out the fact that Adib is going for shield on ledge. And he goes a lot more aggressive that time, Adib goes for that nair. Beautiful option to get up off of the ledge. And that's the dash attack. Not going to kill Battlefield, helping out Adib there. Oh, wait a second. Rolls reversed. Okay, good air dodge there from SBF. That was his best option. Good fade away from Adib, not going too crazy with the forward airs at this kind of percent. He's not getting any kind of waft. He doesn't need to really fear it. SPF is going to want to save this for the last stock. There is the kill. SPF with waft in tow. Oh my, he tries to get some kind of jump read up air. Forward air and it's looking good right now for SBF. He's still got about half a stock left in the tank, you've got to assume. Okay, wait a second, the bike, the delay. Oh, and he tries to counter the re-grab from ledge, not punished by SBF. Happy to just keep that center stage, doesn't want to overextend. Whoa, that up air out of shield? Try catches, catches the landing. Again, Adiba's done a really good job of that so far. And there's your back end, not gonna kill. But SBF air dodges straight away. Saves his jump, tries to get the roll in. He got the right read, just didn't execute it exa uh, exactly as maybe intended. Another grab, forward throw. Off stage now. There's your forward tilt. Okay, Adib. This is how you get yourself up there with the greats. You've had one PR win. He wants to make it two in this game five, but he's got a hell of a mountain to climb. Not only is he at a deficit against Wario, He's also got to be so mindful of that down B killer. SBF just staying in shield. Parry Waft not executed fast enough. And now the game has changed. And that has got to be a mentality killer for SBF. You're hoping that isn't something that's going to play into it too much for him. He's got a lead. He still wants to play the same game. Adib at ledge. Oh, and he calls for the forward tilt. A good option, but Adib just avoiding it. Forward air. Oh, he air dodges so early. Getting a back throw. Adib off stage. SBF happy to keep ledge. Oh, what a landing. He goes straight through the battlefield platform, and we're back in neutral somehow. The DI is not ideal. How does he get off the ledge? He does it, though. This is so tense, and the forward tilt! That's going to do it. SBF clutching out the 3-2 victory, finding himself in winner semis against an Adib who is absolutely possessed to get into that.